Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And DC Comics can't get it up. Well, it sounds uh, like a lot of people can't. Yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, talk about book scan numbers coming in um, from Brian Hibbs, who actually is agreeing with what a lot of YouTubers are saying, which is manga is is kicking everybody's ass. But that's because he's a terrible person. Yeah, right. I he mean, might, that's what they're gonna say. He must be comic skate. Comic skate, obviously. Oh my God. Comic skate. Oh, comic skate. Uh, yeah. So. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about this because I knew things were bad with DC Comics. I haven't been paying as much attention as a lot of other YouTubers because frankly, I've I've checked out from a lot of the drama going on in the mainstream comic book industry. I'm like, I don't even understand the point. Uh, but DC is doing really, really bad. And uh, I think it's going to go from bad to worse with this uh, Warner Discovery merger because they've already moved a bunch of people over to a shared workspace. That's never right. a good. And that's never a good move. They're mandating making money and not being so political and cutting costs. Yeah, so I have to wonder if all of the uh, the retcons going on in DC Comics right now, where all of a sudden Tim Drake is gay or bisexual, well, that was never hinted at that I'm aware of. Not at least not when I read. Is that a blonde Batman. kid or a ginger kid? Because everybody likes gingers. I mean, well, that's true. you just can't resist them. And and if it is a ginger kid, that kid's going to be black in the next issue. <laughs> For sure. So I have to wonder if if DC creators are just like like doing as much as much brand damage as they possibly can do on the way out the damn door. Um, they're banking on a freaking Phase Clan crossover. I heard about this. This yeah. is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This is a gamer issue. Batman's a dinosaur. What can he even do? So like, okay, like I know like BTS is doing comic <laughs> crossovers. It's like we can't get BTS, so let's go get Phase Clan. The Phase Clan to do comics because you know that's gonna sell. Oh, I know. Fuck. Everybody who plays games love comics and are total geeks because they're not, but you know, but they're not playing games. So let's go get the pro gamers who are playing games all the time and put them in a comic and try to appeal to other gamers. A lot of gamers don't read comics because comics are lame. Well, so they, what they need to do is get K-pop groups over here. So they need like, you don't know, give them ideas. Batgirl and Twice or, <laughs> you know, uh, Blackpink meets, yeah, Batgirl or something. And, you know, Batman with, tw Batman could go with Twice. Hey, why not? Because that's problematic. Batgirl and Twice, yeah, they'll ship them together. I'll ship them But I'm just God. saying, you know. Let's let's talk about this. Uh, pretty interesting. I got tagged in on it this morning. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 262,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about comics not nearly as much as we used to. I have pretty much given up on the mainstream comic book industry, as have a lot of readers. <laughs> I'm going to show you that in a minute. As have a lot of creators. And, uh, you know, it's interesting how the comics press is spinning uh, comic sales. They're like, comics material has exploded over the last year or two during the pandemic. Yeah, manga and young adult graphic well, novels. This is the and, same numbers that they had to count. They started counting like uh, crowdfunding because the yeah. crowdfunding campaigns were actually outselling their actual books. So they rolled that in too to take credit for that. Yeah. But you could have just stopped it with, you know, media spinning and everybody would have understood. Yeah, so this is uh, Tilting at Windmills, which is, uh, I believe, Brian Hibbs uh, doing this. Um, yeah, Brian Hibbs, um, who owned multiple comic shops in San Francisco, and I guess the one that uh, Gary from Nerdrotics owned, he sold to Brian Hibbs, and I guess it went out of business. Oh, um, I know who this person is. Okay. Yeah. So now I know. <laughs> yes, Brian Hibbs is sort of infamous in the uh, traditional book publishing space. He's had his hot takes on on the industry. He always does uh, analysis of uh, you know book scan. And uh, how books are selling, and objectively, I think you know those kinds of you know numbers columns are okay. Everybody looks forward to book scan and see what's big. Of course, Dogman's big, manga's yeah, big. Yeah, it's Scholastic. If it's Scholastic, it's going to be big. Besides the fact that they push them like hell in the bookstores, they send them out for the book fairs. And and when you do book fairs, you basically are you're given what they give you, whatever they're pushing. Whatever they want to get into the bestseller list or whatever is what they send you. Yeah. So that's like you might we might get a box with a couple of one book and then a whole stack of like Dogman. 
you know? And the kids are going to buy what's in front of them or buy what's been made popular by the librarians or the classrooms. Walmart. Yeah, yeah. And you Dogman know? is huge. Yeah, so, Dog, Dogman's huge. Uh, Captain Underpants, well, I don't know if that, that's really a but um, Raina Telgemeier books has sent her books to, to Walmart. Well, those, I'm going to, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they sent them to, to the book fairs too and they didn't sell, except for to Pinky Boo. Which is weird because all you heard about for years was Raina Telgemeier sells like crazy. Because the Smile book. Because the yeah, libraries smile and everybody book, did yeah. that. And the librarians kept backing it. But yeah, you hear. That's just, that's just it. You hear. You heard. Somebody told me. So what happens is when they're selling to librarians and stuff, they're like, you know, it's word of mouth. Like librarians buy what they've heard of or what's being recommended to them. And, and uh, you know, so anyway. Funny story. I, I'm not saying this is why. But we talked to the, to Raina's agent, and that was one of the people that it was one that was talking down to you for like two hours to make sure you knew your place. Yeah. And in among the conversation, uh, like she's like, "What do you want? I want to get my books into Walmart." <laughs> and not long after that, I mean, a few months later, here comes Raina Telgemeier's books in Walmart. And it could have been coincidence. And Kazu Kibishi, who's another one of her. Right. It could have been a complete coincidence. It could have been a complete coincidence. But it's just really odd that that happened. You know, yeah. after that, just just it could be coincidental, but it's very very strange. Any, anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, had to get that in there. I was surprised you didn't. It always uh, annoys I, you. I, it annoys me, but I wasn't going to bring it up. No. I'm going to bring it up because every time we go to Walmart, you see one. He's like, oh my god, <laughs> like. Yeah, but then I look at the layer of dust on the covers That's of some true. of them. And I'm That's like, you know, true. these Dogman books are fresh off the truck. These books have been here for like six sniff months. Sniff them. Smells fresh. Smells sniff, fresh. Sniff the other one. Start sneezing from all the dust. Smells, smells like fresh dog man. I don't have any. I don't. <laughs> I don't have. Like. I, I don't know. Like flea powder it and ink. ass. Yeah. It, no. And ink. Yeah. Ink. Ass. Same thing. Um. I don't have anything against those creators. I want to be very clear. No. No. That. I'm just saying I, it was funny to us. I, I. I really was not happy with the. Uh, the agent. Um, oh no! Yeah, sign with Pinky her, Boo but... loved Rand Telgemeier stuff. Yeah, I don't have a problem. She with bought that. all of her stuff. People so, are gonna yeah. be like, "Oh my God, Clownfish TV's beefing with with Raina Telgemeier." No, it's like, not. no, hell no. They no. had nothing in it. They had nothing in it. Anyway, um, just because I don't like her agent doesn't mean that. Yeah. <laughs> She had her chance. <laughs> I have a problem with her. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's talk about this. Uh, this is Bweezy Bweezy Bird, Bweezy Bird, tagged me in along with uh, Perch and and some other folks. Uh, Took some some uh, uh, screen caps of some of the choice uh, choice uh, takeaways from this article, and um, we're gonna read more of it. But this is this is what they got out of it. Uh, manga sales overall, manga manga sales were up incredibly for the manga category in 2021. Yes. Sales nearly tripled in pieces within the top 750 and rose 280. Because they're good. Yeah, there's and we know they're hard, they're 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 having trouble getting them out because they can't get them printed fast enough. This we know for a fact. We actually have a friend of ours who works for a manga publisher. Not going to say which one because I don't want them to get you know get into an altercation with with Twitter. But uh, this friend of ours said, "Yeah, we we can't even get press time. There, mm -hmm. There's so much going there's on. Just, right now. It's just there's too many selling. Yeah, yeah. It's you selling. know, I mean that's a good problem to it's have. A good problem, yeah. But they continue to make the uh, the American direct market looks dumber and dumber. Well, that's what this whole thing is about, and they they Tell word good it stories, folks. They word it in such a way that like like comic material comics are fine because manga and Dogman and Raina Telgemeier and all these these uh, YA graphic novels are selling well. That's insane. Yeah, it is insane because the audience that would have read Batman, I can't imagine why they're leaving Batman. Why they're leaving Batman. For manga, I can't. I can't yeah, imagine. I mean, why would you? Why would you want to read? You know, bat. Why would you want to read like Demon Slayer when you can go read Batman? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I mean, these books are to kick in your ass because they're good books that they're diverse and they and they have really amazing stories and they're character and story focused. And not everybody's just handed something because they're you know insert this uh, you know descriptor there. Yep. So uh, here's some takeaways regarding DC. We'll go back to this Miles Morales thing too. Uh, I'll take a look at that. Uh, moving forward is number six publisher. Actually, in the list, I think it was number five, but mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, it dropped because DC used to be on top. Um, you know, that's the best place to be. Yeah, just on top. FYI. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's in a case joke. you didn't know that. There's a joke in there. There's a joke in there somewhere. Tim, Tim, you want to be on top. Uh, it's always good to be on top of a ginger. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Anyway. Oh, 
Okay. DC spent a really long time as the number one Western publisher before losing it all to Scholastic, which does Dogman and Rand Telgemeier. Right, Scholastic's gonna kick your ass. Yep, and it was at least number two until 2018. If there was a traditional direct market publisher that already had all the tools they needed to actually compete, at least before AT&T started laying people off, it was DC. But DC is placing the lowest number of books into the top 750 it ever has, saying to me they are not living up to their potential. Oh my God, you're almost as bad as Ethan Van Skyver. You How and your dare negative you? poo poo pee pee talk That's about right. DC Comics. Comics are fine. Comics are fine. <laughs> Comics are fine. DC's fine. You're an istophobe. Pee pee poo poo. In 2021, they placed just 17 titles in the top 750 books, about half of a mere two years ago. Can't imagine why I Am Not Starfire was not the best, biggest selling I know, book. Right? Don't, I, I, you can see a clear pattern of bad choices. Let's put it that way as it goes along. And it's going to get progressively worse, by the way. It's going to get worse. Um, People just want to be entertained. They just want fun stories and fun characters and characters they recognize and know. Yep. Um, so, yeah, they had uh, 8.3 million in calculated retail sales. Um, some crowd funders on Indiegogo have done over a million themselves. Just, just saying. Just saying. That's like an eighth of DC's sales. Oh my God. I mean, come on, to be fair, just one manga beat out the American comic industry. Yeah, Demon Slayer, yes. Uh, the sales of one volume beat out the entire North American comic book industry. That's where we're at, guys. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. Yep. Um, so this is coming again from Brian Hibbs. Uh, not us, not, not a comics gator. I remember 20 years ago to this month when the Marvel editor-in-chief Joe Quesada gave an interview to The Observer where he said about DC, I mean, they have Batman and Superman and they don't know what to do with them. Oh, they haven't put them together yet. <laughs> That's why. That's why, right? It's like being a porn star with the biggest dick and you can't get it up. DC can't get it up. Well, it sounds like a lot of people can't get it up, not just DC, but what's disturbing to me is the ones that are getting it up are geared at kids. So, I mean, you know. That's true. Manga. And they have mangas of that, too, by the way. Manga makes Just, a lot of people get it up. That's true. That's, that's also a problem. We can't, I, can't have people get it up. Superman can't get it up because he's too busy being shafted in the ass in prison. It's kryptonite shaft. Yeah, right? So yeah, they I don't rape, I can't they rape understand. Superman. I can't understand why these books aren't selling. I don't, I don't understand at all. Why? People don't want to see Superman sh stick up his ass with kryptonite? No. Anyway, with tiny little <laughs> like, tiny anyway. little IDW able to sell more copies of Marvel branded product in bookstores than Marvel, it appears Marvel is the one that now needs Viagra. Remember when you said that was going to happen? That, you know, places like, well, you said at the time IDW, places like this, the other people were going to get the licensing from Disney. And yeah. And everybody laughed at you and said that you were an idiot blogger and didn't Pe know what you're talking about. People, people laugh Travel at blogger. Yes, people laugh at us a lot, and then sometimes we wind up being right, and then they shut up, and you never hear from them again because they're never going to say, you know what, you were actually right. Um, mm -hmm. That happens. That does happen, and we're not always right, but when we're right, we're right. We're mostly right. You know. Anyway, <laughs> so, anyway um, IDW, yeah, because I, I said that I heard from someone in Disney Publishing that that they were actually looking to outsource. Marvel This is like 2016 heroes. or so. 2016, 2017, that Disney was like, yeah, why are we... Oh, 2017, yeah. Yeah, it was 2017. They were like, let's just outsource the Marvel superheroes. And they tried it with IDW. Um, about eight months after I heard that, they were they were trying to do it with IDW, and then IDW ran that into the ground. Yeah, the list it has them, at least in dollars, it has them below Marvel. So um, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll read a little bit more here. Um, so here's Marvel's long tail. And some might say, well, look, they had excellent year-over-year -year growth this time, but look at it a lot wider. Since 2007, the overall size of the bookstore market has more than tripled from 15 million books to 51 million books. Thank you, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Well, in that same period, Marvel is now selling nearly 4,000 fewer books with nearly four times the SKUs in the market. So they've got a lot of product. They're not selling a lot of that product. It's going to Ollie's, the biggest Mm -hmm. Marvel Comics retailer out there. And Disney's selling 60%, or DC's selling 60% more than Marvel. Yeah, and they're in bad shape. And you know, Marvel had the perfect opportunity, too, because they had the MCU and all those movies, and people would have bought the books if the, book, the comic characters had reflected the ones in the movies, but they changed that, too. Yeah, they did. Now they're trying to, you know, backtrack on that. 
Yeah, so here they're saying that Miles Morales is actually selling pretty well. Well, having having a movie that was well received. And it was really good. Um, you know, it was probably probably good for business. But again, you've got, you know, 42,000 copies of Scholastic's Miles Morales book, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, again, Disney has to be looking at this like, well, Scholastic could just do our Marvel comics or somebody else could just do our Marvel comics for us and we don't have to pay uh, whiny ass editors mm-hmm. up in New York and and pay the rent on this place and all this other stuff. Uh, we can move them all to a virtual office, which I think I think I heard that they were doing that with Marvel. They were moving them to virtual. I don't know. Probably never cut, cuts cost. Yeah. Um, so it sold four uh, roughly four times better than any other Marvel graphic novel published by Marvel, and in fact, more than ten times better than Marvel's own Miles Morales bestseller, Ooh. Spider Verse. Miles Morales. Chew on the ramifications of that. Uh, you're basically losing, guys. Is what's what's happening. You you have lost the Marvel and DC have lost comic book readers to manga and Scholastic and Webtoon and basically every other place to get comics. You have lost readers. Mm-hmm. Indiegogo, Kickstarter, you know everybody's leaving. They're, it's a sinking ship. They're corporate-owned entities that don't give a shit about and they, the characters. They can't, they're like, we can't figure out what the problem is. And people keep telling them what the problem is. And then they're like, no, we don't want to hear that because that's histophobia. <laughs> yep. So like, just make the characters the characters people know. Just make the char- make new characters if you want. But make characters people know. Make good stories. Or if you're going yeah, to double down those characters, that's fine. But make good stories uh, that are about the story and the character first and about agenda stuff second. Um, you know, have people have to earn mantles, not just hand them to them because they're who they are. Yep. See, this is, this is what I thought was interesting. The very first sentence here, um, talking about how more comics material, material was sold in 2021 than 2018 and 2019 combined. This is where everybody gets the comics are fine, mm-hmm. they, which some comics are fine. But the direct market is not fine. Marvel's not fine. DC's not fine. So does this make him comic skate now? I think he is. I think he's comic skate. Yeah. Say that manga is outselling. Because that's all. Comics. This is the same that kind of stuff we've been saying, and we keep getting labeled as as such. Yeah. So I guess that just makes that makes him comic skate look, confirmed. Look at this. This is interesting too. Um, well, here are the authors. Uh, here's how many copies they sold. Okay. Uh, Dave Pilkey, of course, Dogman. You know, Brandon Telgemeier, okay, she sold a million copies or something. Dave Pilkey, five million. But go down the list here. Scott Cawthon, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, some of these are YouTubers. FGTV, 278,000 copies. Hey, you know what? YouTubers are hot. Uh, hey there, Scholastic. Some of us are very hot. Um, yeah. <laughs> how you doing? Not me, but <laughs> that's okay. Um <laughs> Kazu Kibishi only sold 200. So, so wait a second. Amulet, which is supposed to be this critically acclaimed, it is a good series. I mean, I've 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 read the first couple of and volumes. It's okay. It's okay. We had a rabbit psychic first to say. But these uh, these YouTubers sold more comics than Kazu Kibishi did. So that's that's interesting. I think if you go through the list, you're going to find a lot of YouTubers on this this list. But yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I'll put a link to this. This again, this is something that Hibbs has done for years i mean at least 10 15 years that i can remember the book scan numbers well, credit where credits do pointing out some very valid things yeah yeah and for sure. so i mean we're, we're making fun about the comics get thing because um people have been labeled you know and treated a certain way by a certain person for for other things you know it's it's interesting if you have any dissenting opinion or just point out and i love this now like the mainstream comic book media is now finally starting to admit. Oh, that, now it matters. Now it matters. Not just Brian Hibbs, but there are other other people that are like, yeah, hey, uh, Marvel and DC aren't doing so good. Oh, but you guys are all still bad guys for saying. You're all though, bad guys. We're saying what saying. you've been saying, but you're all still bad and we're the acceptable. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Like YouTubers, bad, bad, bad YouTubers. And then they're they They repeat they're what right. you say, but then they're like, but we're the voice of reason. Yeah, <laughs> so. right. Uh, meanwhile, you know, these blogs are shrinking. Um, they've, they've, you know, pretty much destroyed and shut down Newsarama, you know, because people aren't interested in, in Western comics like they used to be. Um, and yeah, I agree. Comics are fine, but Marvel and DC, the direct market, is not fine. Um, it's not going to be fine. It's it's fundamentally broken. And, uh, you know, it's about time that, uh, you know, there's some, some validation, I think, for some of these YouTubers, the ones that cover it more so than we do. 
And us too. And us too. What the hell? All right. Throw us in there. Anyway, we've got to wrap this up. Yep. I wasn't kidding, Scholastic. <laughs> wink, wink. Please. Talk you, to our agent. Please subscribe. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... <laughs> Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>